July 4th, 2013. After years of watching Adam Richman on the show Man Vs. Food, I took it upon myself to do something I never thought I'd do, my first food challenge. I took on the infamous Iron Man Challenge at the Broken Yolk Cafe in San Diego, California. The Iron Man Challenge consists of the following. One 12 egg omelet smothered in chili cheese, two gigantic biscuits, and around two and a half pounds of home fries. Anyone who takes on the Iron Man Challenge has one hour to complete this giant plate of food. Anyone who fails to complete the challenge within the time limit has to pay $30. Not only did I complete my first food challenge that day, but I ended up setting the record for the fastest time. Now, eight years later, I'm revisiting the Iron Man challenge, only this time with a bigger appetite and a bigger goal in mind. Because in this food challenge, I'll be attempting to take down the Iron Man challenge with double the calories. And this is how it went. It's time to make a real Iron Man challenge. I knew that trying to cook giant biscuits at home was gonna be challenging, but I decided to try it anyways. Speaking of challenging, the most difficult part of the Iron Man challenge, the potatoes. Now in food challenges, carbs are generally the hardest thing to get down. So I knew I was most likely gonna have a pretty tough time eating all of these potatoes. But after doing hundreds upon hundreds of food challenges over the years, I've learned that when it comes down to taking down a ton of carbs, it's all about making them taste better which is why I seasoned up these bad boys with salt and pepper. Everyone, I made so many potatoes, I almost didn't think I'd have enough room on this tray for all of them, but I made it work. Have you ever tried to scramble up 24 eggs before? Obviously, I haven't either. After fishing out an eggshell, which probably wouldn't have tasted too good, I did my best to scramble up 24 eggs. Let me just tell you all, this was an arm workout that I was not expecting at all. A few seconds ago, I talked about flavor, and one way to do that is to throw in some cheese. Speaking of additions, I felt like some veggies probably wouldn't hurt, so I threw in some mushrooms and some onions. Now, the original Iron Man challenge is actually a 12 egg omelet, but I don't have a pan big enough to make a 24 egg omelet, so these eggs were scrambled. After throwing on two biscuits, it was time for the finishing touch, a massive 1200 calorie pile of chili cheese. And after two hours of cooking, I had the double Iron Man challenge. And there we have it, everybody. The Iron Man Challenge. Everybody, when I did this, I did it in 2013. It's been over eight years. <laughs> I did my first food challenge eight years ago. It's been quite a ride, everybody. As far as replicating the Broken Yolk Iron Man Challenge, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and let you guys decide, though. What do you think? How did I do with the presentation? Let me know down below in the comments. Everyone, I'm in for a pretty crazy food challenge, but before we get into the actual food challenge, it's time for me to thank the sponsor of this week's video. Magic Spoon. This video is being sponsored by Magic Spoon. Magic Spoon is my go-to cereal brand when I'm not doing insane calorie-packed food challenges. If you didn't know, I have to keep a pretty regimented diet outside of my food challenges. That's where Magic Spoon comes in. Magic Spoon is a tasty cereal with zero grams of sugar, 14 grams of protein, four grams of net carbs, and only 140 calories per serving. It's keto-friendly, gluten-free, grain-free, soy-free, and low-carb. Magic Spoon has tons of amazing flavors to choose from, including cocoa, fruity, frosted, cinnamon, blueberry, and peanut butter. And the cool thing is they're constantly dropping new limited edition flavors too. My new favorite flavor is the maple waffle. Everyone, this new cereal flavor tasted absolutely amazing. Here's the deal, everyone. Magic Spoon is gonna hook you up with $5 off your order today. Just use my code electricship for $5 off your order. It'll be linked down below in the description. And Magic Spoon is so confident in their product that it's backed with a 100% happiness guarantee. So if for any reason you don't like it, they'll refund your money. No questions asked. So once again, use the code electricship for $5 off your Magic Spoon order and grab some delicious cereal today. Also for my Canadian fans, Magic Spoon is now shipping to Canada. Now that that's out of the way, folks, I need to actually prepare for this. I mean, I'm definitely gonna need to jazz some things up here. Did I not get Diet Coke? I can't believe I forgot to get Diet Coke. No! This is like a first for me. What am I gonna use? All right, almond milk, some reduced sugar ketchup, and I got some maple syrup, okay? I remember that day I did this food challenge and maple syrup and biscuits, after all the chili and everything just tasted amazing, so that's why I got it. I mean, there is a lot of carbs on this plate right here, folks. This is over five pounds of potatoes. On my channel, I don't mess around when it comes to carbs. I mean, just go ahead and check out the merch, all right? 
And speaking of merch, you can get it for yourself because I just dropped all new merch. It's live on the official Eric the Electric merchandise site. So if you guys wanna get yourselves some all new Eric the Electric merch, be sure to check it out. Link is down below in the description. That being said, everybody, I think I'm ready to get into this challenge. I'm really not too sure. <laughs> how those potatoes are gonna do because it's actually five pounds instead of two pounds, which usually comes with the challenge. This is 24 eggs instead of 12. But regardless, everyone, I'm gonna give this my best shot. Without further ado, my friends, my family, this is me reattempting the first food challenge that I ever did. Let's do this. All right, folks, before we start the challenge, you guys know the drill. You gotta give the video a like if you happen to poop today. Ooh, I don't even know what I want to start with first. Actually, this down. Yeah, I was propping this up with some baby wipes. I'll probably be needing those later. Okay. All right, everybody, it's time to get this challenge started in three, two, and one. Mm, that is delicious. Woo! <clears throat> All right, folks, well, so far it's going absolutely amazing. There's just something about eggs and biscuits that you know, just warms my heart. Mm. All right, guys, well, so far, everything's going great. Eggs are tasting good. There's a lot of beans in this chili, which probably isn't a bad thing. Probably could use the fiber. Go for it. Oh, hey, look, a mushroom. Good thing I'm getting my veggies in today. All right, everybody. Well, I would say about 60% of the omelets down. So far, it's, everything's tasting amazing, but these potatoes are gonna be the hardest part to this challenge. I don't think I've ever I've definitely eaten over five pounds of potatoes before, but not with all this protein. Protein is very hard to digest, but you guys know what I do when it comes to jazzing up potatoes. Perfect way to do it is with some wow sauce. Just gonna jazz it up. Just jazz it up. Mm. W! Oh! Dummy! <clears throat> That's well delicious. These potatoes are delicious. I wonder how many potatoes I could eat in one sitting. All right. Well, we uh, made a sizable dent in our potatoes. You guys gotta let me know if you like these types of challenges where I go back and revisit old challenges and, uh, you know, make them substantially larger. <laughs> and uh, if you guys do like these, why don't you go ahead and suggest to me down below what you want to see for the next challenge like this. I'd love to hear your suggestions, so drop a comment down below. I also wonder how many people are savagely critiquing my cooking skills down below in the comments. Don't think I forgot about ketchup, all right? Don't think I forgot about it, all right? We all know ketchup's gotta be dipped in your fries or potatoes or whatever. Wow sauce is delicious, but what about wow sauce and ketchup together? All right, well, everything's still going great. Surprisingly, these potatoes aren't as dense as I thought they'd be. But, you know, we'll see how I feel in just a few seconds. Now, the next thing I'm going to do, a lot of you are going to question, if you haven't already questioned it already. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna show you what I'm gonna do, all right? Dipping a biscuit in maple syrup is weird, okay? I fully acknowledge that. And I, I also fully acknowledge that this maple syrup is now seeping over to my potatoes. But here's the thing, everybody. I fully realized when I did this challenge, eight years ago, what flavor fatigue is. And I remember reaching over on the table and grabbing a container of maple syrup, pouring it on a biscuit and enjoying that biscuit. In fact, it was one of the best tasting biscuits I've ever had, simply because I put maple syrup on it and I'm doing it again, all right. Woo! 
Dummy. Oh. Dummy. So good. <laughs> now we have the rest of our eggs left. This challenge has been absolutely delicious. I do think I kind of want dessert though. All right, we have uh, the rest of our eggs right here. Potatoes. Probably did not need to use four cans of chili for this, but you know, I did. I'm telling you guys, fiber, very, very important. Ooh. All right, folks, well, there are potatoes right there, our last biscuit. And uh, I gotta actually say, this challenge has been amazing. Most of my challenges are amazing, but this one, this is really good. All right, everybody. I'm sorry, I'm full. No! Guess I should really stop using that joke. It really gets old. Probably it's really old by now, but. Yes. Gotta do what I gotta do. Anyways, everybody, if you've made it up into this point of the video, if you're still rocking with me, comment down below. Biscuit. So we're finishing with some biscuits. Just like that, everybody. Our double Iron Man challenge has officially been completed, everybody. Uh, but here's the thing. I feel like I need some sweetness in my life. So it's time for a little bonus round. All right, so we have a we have a little leftover birthday gift, and it's a lot of sweetness, which means it's perfect right now because it's exactly what I need. You know, big shout out to everybody that watched last week's birthday video. It's been a little over a week since I've had any real sugar, besides the maple syrup I just ate. So I was like, hey, you know what? Let's see some chocolate. Since when did YooHoo make candy bars? Not bad. Twix, it's all in the mix. Mm. Now to finish off with our MMs. Just like that, everybody. That has been another food challenge. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you guys wanna keep rocking with me, watching more food challenges, I'm gonna go ahead and put a food challenge similar to this one right along the sidebar, along with a food challenge playlist of mine that I think you're gonna enjoy as well. Of course, if you like this challenge and wanna see more, subscribe to the channel. Don't forget to like the video and I'll see you guys in the next food challenge.